Hello, welcome to Scrap Time episode 905. My name is Christine and on today's episode, I'm showing you how to tint your Chroma Crackle Medium. Today we are using Chroma Crackle again and this time I'm going to show you how you can tint it. I'm going to start just by showing you some samples I made. I decided to make some tags for the holiday season to go on my gifts and my wrapping paper is a blue red with some silver and white so those are the colors I was working with so this first one if you recall from before when the chroma crackle dries it dries white so I just mixed a bit of silver paint in here and it may be hard to decipher it on camera but it has um, sort of a metallic tinge to it versus a solid white and then you can see the red coming through and then here is red over top of the blue. And this is red over top of white, I think. And then this was a tag I had that had different uh, designs on the bottom of it. So you can see over here it's sort of whitish and then it gets darker where there was some red and that. So you can do this over a mixed background as well. And some blue over the red. And then what I did too was put it through a stencil. Now because when I put it through my stencil it was a thinner layer, it got some cracks but not as many cracks as there was there. This red one shows a few more cracks than the, the silver one did. And then there's this blue one here. And you also notice that because the, the uh, crackle is it's not runny but it's a little softer here it went underneath the stencil a bit but because they're snowflakes it's not that bad because snowflakes are all different and do different things but you still know they're snowflakes i made some mini tags too just to show you this one turned out really good with the silver now as i showed you before these tags here are the tags that I painted and put aside and let dry naturally. Now, you can also do it with um, a heat gun. But when you do it with the heat gun, you're going to get these big cracks, like you can see here. So this was obviously the red over top of the blue. And then this is the silver over top of the red and some red over top of a silver background. So you can see the difference, obviously between that and then this one that has all these really fine crackles in it. So again, it's just whatever you prefer the look to be. So I'm going to show you how to mix up your crackle. I have this little plastic container I got from the dollar store. I think it's supposed to be like a shot glass or something, but it does my job for me. So I pour my crackle in here. Now I don't need too much because I'm only making tag. I'll just do that much. Actually, maybe I'll do a little more. You want to make sure you have enough. Okay, that's probably more than enough now. And then I have some red paint in here. Now you have to remember that it's going to dry a little lighter than what it looks like here because you're mixing it basically with a white. Now you don't want to put more than 5% color in um, to the mixture. So I just put a blob in like that and then I take a stick and just stir it so it's all red, nice and blended together. That's a good thing with a clear container too, as you can see in the sides that yes, it's all blended. I'm gonna just grab a paper towel to have handy. So I have my blue tag. Now the thing you need to do is you paint the whole tag with your paint, let it dry, and then just put a layer of basic white all-purpose glue over top of it and dry it when you're doing the um, the heat gun method. So it's paint and then a layer of all-purpose white glue, basic glue. I'm using this snowflake stencil. This is um, from Diane Reevely, part of the Dilutions line. So laying it down. 
Then I have my little palette knife. This is just a plastic one. And so I pick it up on the back of my palette knife and then hold it down and just put it through the stencil. So this isn't as thick as um, like a molding paste would be. So that's why sometimes it may run a bit. The other thing too is when you're putting it through a stencil, you're getting a thinner coat on than you would um, just by putting it directly onto your tag. Mm -hmm. And I like to do just a little at a time to try to prevent it from um, seeping under too much. If you put a lot there, it may seep more. So it might be a technique you have to just try a couple of times to uh, figure out what works for you. Okay, and you can see I still have um, a bit in there. I could always do another one if I wanted. So we're going to remove our stencil. And I'm just going to clean up that. I'm going to get another paper towel. So you can see it seeped under a bit. But that'll be fine. So now I'm going to heat heat it with the uh, heat gun and you'll be able to see it cracking in that. Um, when you heat it though, it does take a little bit of time still to completely dry. You'll notice that the color is going to change and that's how you know it is dry. I just wanted to show you how we're starting to see the crackle and the separating of the medium in here. So we're going to keep on heating it um, until it all cracks, but you can start seeing how it's moving around. I just wanna stop again to show you how, you can see how it's changing color. So that red is now that lighter. And so the it'll all be done when it all looks that lighter color. But just so you can see the difference between the color we put on and the color it is turning. So I am now finished heating this up and you can see how it is all turned that soft color and there's no more of the dark red. So when you're picking your colors, you want to remember that the color will change once it is dried because you're basically mixing it with a white medium. So now what I want to do is put a layer of multi-medium over this just to protect all our cracks. And in this time, I'm using the gloss multi-medium because since this is going to be a finished product that I want to add on my Christmas gifts, I wanted it to be a little shinier. And I'm just using a paintbrush and just painting the medium right in there, making sure to get it in all those cracks. Now, if you only have matte medium, that is fine too. It's, as I said, I'm just using gloss because I wanted my finished product to be a little shinier. And when this dries, it will be completely clear. And then it'll look like these other tags that we have here that are nice and shine to them. And that is how you tint your Chroma Crackle Medium and a way you can use them with your stencils. Well, that's it for today's episode. Be sure to check out our website at www.scraptime.ca. And on our next episode, I'm showing you the We Are Memory Keepers gift box punch board. So please join us. Thanks for watching Scrap Time.